Wild animals shouldn't be kept as pets, but there are situations when they come in contact with humans and learn to adore them. They would do anything for those they love, including humans, and they also have intuitions that are out of our reach. That's what happened in today's story. A young girl built up a special bond with a wolf, and you will never believe what happened next. There was a young girl called Emily with a single mother whom she loved. The pair had an amazing bond. They spent a lot of time together, and there was one thing that they did that Emily loved more than anything, visiting her grandparents on the homestead. Emily's grandparents lived far from any town. Emily and her mother had to fly to a big town and then take a small airplane to get to the small settlement. There, her grandfather would pick them up and take them to the family homestead. Emily loved it there. They were surrounded by the woods and a river, and she could see wild animals every day. She loved gardening with Granny Lisa, and she loved fishing with Grandpa Tom, just spending time there. When Emily asked her mother why they couldn't live there forever, her mom told her she needed to work and that she liked to have doctors and shops close by. They went to visit often. It was lovely. Until suddenly, things changed. Emily and her mom got in a car accident. The ambulances took them both to the hospital. Emily kept crying for her mom, but the doctor just said that her mommy was too sick to see her. But when her grandparents came to pick Emily up, they had to tell her that her mommy was never coming home. She was going to live with them full time. Suddenly, the flight to get there felt a lot longer. The woods seemed darker than Emily remembered, and all of her favorite activities just weren't fun anymore. Amidst their own pain, Tom and Lisa were worried about Emily. But they knew that they needed to give her time to get used to the new circumstances. They just didn't know they were going to have some help from a very unexpected source. One day, Tom told Emily to go with him for a walk in the woods. She didn't want to, but he kept insisting. She needed to get outside and not just sit and stare at the walls, so eventually, pouting, she got up and put on her boots. They hadn't walked too far when they heard a strange noise. It sounded like a puppy that was crying. Looking around, they found a hole in the ground. It could have been an old trap set by hunters. Inside, there was a small wolf pup with a leg that seemed broken. He was thin and seemed weak. Tom quickly climbed down and handed him to Emily. They looked around, but Tom could tell from the ground around the hole that the rest of the pack was long gone. Emily begged him to take the wolf home. He was worried that if they couldn't save the pup, it would be another thing that would hurt his granddaughter's heart, but he couldn't say no. They took the pup home, and Emily quickly named him Jock and believed that he would soon get stronger. Lisa cared for his wounds and set his leg while Tom went back to fill in the hole. He wasn't going to let another animal get injured from the trap. With Jock's injuries cared for, it was time for Emily to help feed him. He ate from her hand and even licked it. That very first night, she insisted that the family should allow him to sleep in her bed. Her grandparents didn't have the heart to tell her no, and they were also trying to recover from having lost Emily's mom. A bit of extra love couldn't hurt anyone, right? Lisa and Jock became inseparable. As he grew quickly, soon he couldn't fit in her bed anymore. Even Emily had to agree that he needed another spot, so Tom built him a special bed and even a kennel that he could sleep in outside. He would go running in the woods, but when Emily was with him, he never left her side. The bond between the child and the wolf was something inspiring to see. And the best part was that Emily was smiling again. She was once again enjoying life, and for that, her grandparents would be eternally grateful to Jock. He had brought them their grandchild back, and in turn, they raised him and allowed him to become part of the family. They had become his pack, but his favorite person by far was Emily. They never lost that amazing bond, even when she had to go away to school. She had to go to boarding school as she got older since there were no schools in the area. During that time, Jock found a pack and he started to live with them. But as soon as Emily came home from school, he was there right away, and he wouldn't leave until she did. It seemed like he knew that she was there. Then they would spend hours together. He would lay on the riverbank while she fished, or he would go with her when she went camping. It was super special. One day, when Emily was around 17, her school closed early because of the weather. She decided that instead of letting her grandparents know that she was coming home, she would surprise them. She took the last flight that would leave for many days. Then she borrowed a vehicle at the settlement to go home. 
The problem was that it was starting to get late. The roads were icy and it was getting cold. She was halfway home when suddenly the car started to sputter and backfire until the car died. Emily was really frightened. It was already dark outside. She hadn't planned on walking and had no flashlight and nothing to keep her safe. The woods were still very wild and there was no way that she would leave the relative safety of the car and get home on foot. But staying in the vehicle until morning was just as dangerous. The heating had stopped working too. In her haste to get home, she hadn't planned ahead. She didn't even have a blanket with her. Soon she felt like she couldn't even think. She was falling asleep. All she could think about was her grandparents and how much this was going to hurt them. Then, just as she slipped away, she thought of Jock. She loved him like family. It was as if she could see him. Then she fell asleep, not knowing that she had really seen Jock outside the car window. He was trying to get to her. He could feel that she was in danger, but he couldn't get the doors open. Realizing that he was never going to get her out, he turned around and ran. With all his speed, he ran home and howled at the door. Lisa and Tom tried to get Jock to come inside, thinking that he was hurt or crying from the cold, but he refused. He tried to grab their clothes and pull them. At last, Tom decided to follow him. He took his thick jacket and got on an ATV to follow the impatient wolf. When he got close to the stalled car, he was surprised. Jock had let him know that someone was in trouble. It was only when he opened the door that he realized that it was Emily that was in the car and she looked completely lifeless. He pulled her out and rushed her home. Lisa gave a shout when she saw them, the wolf chasing behind. They listened for her heartbeat but got nothing. They felt her but it looked like she was gone. They were devastated. Losing their only daughter had almost broken them but they had to go on for Emily. Losing her would be their downfall. It wasn't long before the sun came up. She was still freezing to the touch. Tom knew that he had to do something. Lisa couldn't keep looking at her granddaughter. He called the settlement and soon help arrived. They dug the grave and lay Emily inside a special coffin a friend had brought. Lisa was sobbing when they covered it up. They were only about halfway when Jock appeared. Growling, he stopped them. They all moved and he started to dig. He became really angry each time someone tried to stop him. Even Lisa and Tom weren't having any luck. He wouldn't get away from the grave until he opened the grave up completely. It was horrifying, but what happened next is unbelievable. He got quiet standing on top of the coffin. Then they all heard it, moaning from inside. Quickly they opened it up and saw that Emily was waking up. She was alive. The cold had stopped her heart almost completely, but as she was warming up, she was coming too. Jock had known it all along, and once again, he had saved them all. Thank you for watching this video. Join us again for even more inspirational stories.